Hello, my name is Douglas Shaw and this is the Edinburgh Bike Fitting technical review of the Lake MX201. So here we go. The primary difference between this and the CX201 is it doesn't have a carbon sole, uh, which some people are quite surprised about. It's designed to be ridden as a as a kind of a flat or a mountain bike clip-in shoe. So there is the kind of insert at the bottom here, which is just covered by a sticker. Um, or you can actually buy like a flat panel accessory that just like screws in and you'll just get a full, like if you could just imagine the, the, the bottom of the shoe with like a full, fully gripped outsole uh, if you want to ride it as a, as a flat shoe. So similarities to the CX201 is it features the exact same last, so the, the kind of Comfort Plus last. That is, if you like, an ultra voluminous barefoot style last so just again this is a size 39 so to pull out this insole you can see it's got that squared off shape at the top so if i just move my finger around the top here it'll sharpen in you can see it's kind of got a flattened off so this in combination with the flat sole you see how it's just got very much a kind of cornered edge which means your foot will just go in and just really be able to spread out at the toes and give a much more kind of open feel um, the new foam upper, which is just this kind of, if you like, this mesh, if you like, that foam upper, and the way that the, if you like, this microfiber just comes away, like, separately, and just, you can see the, the foam underneath. Now, the way that this just encapsulates your foot inside the shoe allows this boa to just tighten up really nicely uh, around, so this just gives almost, like, extra flexibility to the side of the shoe just to allow the, the foot to go in and the upper to encapsulate around it so your your foot is still obviously inside the shoe and it, it, you know there is the kind of element that the shoe is on it but you still get that barefoot feel because rather than kind of changing the shape of your foot inside the shoe it just kind of more encapsulates the, the foot inside the shoe so there is a definite kind of more of an open feel to this shoe than any other shoe that um, they make as such, um, if you like, if you include the, the CX201. Um, other little differences or other features about the shoe that are interesting to know before you buy it is this kind of um, Hellcore leather that's just stitched onto the front of the shoe here. Now that just provides a little bit of contact potentially at the front of the shoe that some people might not like if they're looking for a true barefoot feel um, just the stitching if you like and the firmness of this I mean don't get me wrong if you have the right shoe size on it's still gonna feel like a very spacious spacious shoe indeed but there's just a little bit more build up on the front now that's there's benefit to this so if you're riding your bike down a trail or on the gravel or what have you then if you smack your toe against a rock or if you smack it against a log that could just be sitting on the side which happens then you're not going to get a very sore toenail but at the same time it's just kind of worth going into this knowing um, but no one that I know who's ever had the shoe on the foot who's looking for a barefoot feel has ever really have a problem with this I'm just mentioning it in advance um, the other thing is this kind of Li2 boa so this is an Li2 boa on it but it's just got a rubber um, gripper around it and it just kind of makes sense when you're off-road things get muddier and slippier more readily than on the road sometimes so just provides a little bit more grip if you're wearing a glove or something like that just to um, tighten up the shoe on the fly um, and that really finishes off my review of the MX201 it's a barefoot style shoe for flats and kind of clipping riding um, and it's really good